What, do you get a king who has everything? One of those, apparently. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design Power of the Prime Predator King Upgrade Kit. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right from there, we have Predator King's beautiful mug there, Power of the Prime Predator King Upgrade Kit. Up top, same thing. Warning! <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. Plastic toys! Robot action figures. Collectibles for 16 plus. Brand DNA. Made in China. Barcodes, words and things and stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. This, that, the other end. That's basically it for the packaging. Man, moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Power of the Primes of Predator King. So let's just run through everything that comes in this kit. First thing you get is uh, some new wings here, some new uh, larger wings. With some silver, with some gold, with some nice gold there on the, uh, on the feathers. So, good looking set of new bigger wings. You get some new... Fully articulated hands. We'll get more into these in a little bit. You get these little gun pieces, which are also going to uh, fall out of my hands, which are also going to uh, fill out his waist a bit. And this is honestly the bit that I liked the most because he needed his waist filled out a bit more. Uh, you do have a, uh, a back filler piece to fill in the gap in his back. And you see it's just kind of a spinal looking with some bits of gold in there. You get Two of these, I already have one installed, but you get two of these, and these are just new uh, ratchet pieces for the shoulders, so you have to do a little bit of a surgery on him as well. And you also get a new big old sword here. You can see done in gold, and looks quite, quite nice. A little green in there as well. So, there you have that. So first we'll start off with the new wings. So we got Dive Bomb here and uh, the wings are very easy to swap out. They're just on a big mushroom peg here. So you just pop them out with the greatest of ease. With the greatest of ease. Greatest of ease. There we go. Pop out the wing. Then you just take the new one and that will just pop into place again with the greatest of ease. There we go. Snaps right in. And then everything just sits where it did on the original. It just snaps right into place. And just so we can get a little, uh, oops. Everything does tab in as it should. It's just the point of getting everything lined up, which I clearly do not. There we go. So you have the new wing, which is a bit heavier and is making him lose his balance here. Come on, dive bomb. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'll just hold him up. But you can see how much uh, it improves upon his wingspan there. So, now we'll just uh, we'll swap them both out here. Come on. Come on. And just pop it on. Come on. Ah. And then just get everything tabbed in as it should. There we go. There you go. So now you have Dive Bomb and his new impressive wingspan. Hooray! Hooray! And it has the same articulation. Can move backwards. Sections here can move down. They're on a they're on kind of a ratchet that's you know kind of stops at three places. You have obviously the downward position, then it will stop there. Then it'll stop there. And then it stops there. You can, you know, you do have some play in between the joints, so you really can't pose it however you want, but you have those actual stopping points for it. And uh, the feathers themselves are on hinges, so you can splay those out however you want. So that is quite cool. So there is Dive Bomb with his new wings. So now let's talk about the new hands, and to swap these out is 
Very simple. We just bring in the original hand and you're just going to pop the hand off of the uh, wrist piece and it's just on a mushroom peg that comes off very easily. And you just slide on the new hand, just pops right into place and there you go. And these hands will store in the feet just like the original ones did. So you still have the storage option there. So that's nice and these do fit a little bit more snugly than the original ones did. There we go. But yeah, um, as far as these hands go, they are fully poseable here. You can see the thumb has a hinge at the base which allows it to move up and down. It can also rotate. You also have a hinge right there and a hinge right there. Each of the fingers is on a hinge at the base. You have a hinge there and a hinge there. So you have nice full movements there on the fingers and the fingers also have a hinge right there, which will allow you to splay out to the fingers also. So you can get some good grabby poses. So fully posable hands there, and you can open up this panel here and use the fingers to help bring them out. He does have his knuckle spikes. For everybody who's complaining that he didn't have his knuckle spikes, there you go, he has the knuckle spikes now, which is quite cool. You can bring the fingers up, you can see. They just move with the fingers. There you go. He has his spikes, his knuck spikes right there. So that uh, is pretty cool. And here is the hand on the arm, so you can get the, uh, the full effect here. That looks quite cool. You also have a hinge at the base of the hand, which allows the hand to move upward like that. So you can get that going. Again, you have that wrist rotation as well. So you can have more like, stop in the honey. You can do that if you want. Hey, why not? Why not? Dare I say why not? But you get some nice posable hands there for Predaking King now. So that's quite, quite cool. The next thing is this back filler piece. And you can store this on Razor Claw. And if I just bring him in, um, how you store this is you want to take this section here and bring this down. And this is going to tab in. You see that tab right there is going to just tab in right in here so you just tab that like so and then uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the awkward part here we're gonna bring this down and these two posts are gonna plug into these ports right here like that and that's how this piece stores on razor claw and that looks so so wrong on so many levels. What? Hey, it's storage. Very awkward, inappropriate looking storage, but storage nonetheless. And as far as robot mode goes, um, it just stays in that exact same spot and ends up on his back there. So that's a lot better as far as storage for that piece. So there you have that. So now let's talk about the big old sword here, and this is quite a large sword, as you can see. <laughs> you can see, again, very nicely done. And this sword can break apart into two pieces here. We can just pull the blade off. Everything is just pegged together, so we can pull these sections off. We can separate the two halves of the blade, and then these sections here will also come apart, like so. And you can even pull these pieces off if you want, again, it's all just pegged together like that. And now you have all of these little weapons that you can give the individual bots. So we'll bring Razor Claw back in. And if you want, you can see his little post here. And you can give him this as like a big, you know, like a big hammer if you want. Do something like that, you know, give him a big old. Hammer, that's a thing you want to do. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. You can take these pieces and, you know, plug them back on. So you can have, you know, spikes on them or something. You can do that. Make it look like a pickaxe. I don't know. Why not? You can give him these as individual swords as well. Or you can, you know, give him these if you want that look going on. Or you can have them together and just have a giant sword. <laughs> Why not? Dare I say, why not? You can take these, you can plug these into this if you want. Have that going on. Again, you, you, you can pretty much do whatever you want with these. Um, 
what else can we do? We can plug these together as well, although they don't hold together that well on their own. But the instructions show them together, and I'm holding this as a weapon, but like I said, it doesn't really hold together that well. Looks better in the picture, but doesn't actually hold together. There's no real friction there, but eh, it's a thing you can do if your copy wants to do it. That might be a case of your knowledge may vary, but hey, all things that you can do if you want. You get all those bits and pieces to work with, and uh, you do also get these little double barrel blasters, which again, for uh, the combined mode are going to bulk out his waist, but I do have posts on him, so you can give him these. As little handguns. This one's a little bit loose there, but you know, give them some guns. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Now, can any of this store in the beast mode? Um, I don't know. The instructions don't. The only thing the instructions show as far as beast mode storage is this piece. This stuff, I I don't know. There may be a way to store this stuff in the beast mode. If you can figure that out, good for you. Doesn't say anything about it in the instructions, so I don't care. So now it's time to do a bit of surgery so we can install these new pieces here. And again, these are new pieces for the uh, shoulder ratchets. And um, I already replaced it on this side here. And I, it seems like it's maybe a, it's supposed to make the ratchet stronger, but it doesn't seem that much stronger than the original. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure, but they, I'm gonna swap them out anyway. And uh, to do it, we do have to uh, take him apart here. So we're gonna undo these three screws here, here, and here. So we're just going to undo all of this. And once we have those screws undone, we just take the two halves here and just take them apart. Just make sure you remember where everything goes. Make sure that doesn't fall out. That needs to stay right there. This little bit here just stays right there. So just remember where everything goes. Just put that to the side there, and now we're going to undo this screw right here. And once we've done that, we now take these two halves apart, like so. And this is the piece that we are replacing. So we put that off to the side, and we put the new one on. You want to make sure that the, uh, the squared off bits are on the top and bottom here. That is the proper orientation so just make sure you have that lined up just like so and now we just uh, put everything back together and again make sure everything is in the right spots like so and like so and then we screw and now that we got that back together, we can just uh, put the rest of it back together here. We just slide this on. Get everything situated here. Come on. Come on. Yep, oops. Get that back in place. Oop, that's the ratchet part there. And get this back into position. Get the other half back on. Everything lined back up. And now, whiskey! And there you go. We got them all back together. We got the new hand on there. So, there you go. And, you know, like I said, it gives them, it seems like a, uh, a bit of a stronger ratchet there on the shoulder. I mean, it's still not super tight. It still kind of drops kind of easily, but eh, I mean, it holds well enough. So, there you go. So now, let's get down to the combined mode. So now that we're here, let's talk about the uh, back filler piece. Now the back filler piece just connects exactly where it was on Razor Claw before, so you really never have to take it off him if you don't want to. But again, that just plugs right up in there like so. And these two sides will just tab in two slots here on either side of his waist, so I'm just going to get that lined up, and just squeeze that together, get all nice and squozen. Um, the back paws, you want to make sure the back paws are folded all the way up, and then you just bring the legs down, 
And the wings just tab into the sides of the legs, like they did originally, with the original wings. So, these still serve the, uh, the same purpose here. Just tab those in. Just bring those legs down. And you can see, that does a pretty good job there of filling up that hollow space there in his back. Now, as far as these go, uh, these are going to bulk out his waist. And what you're going to do here is this tab is going to slide into this slot right here. So, helps if you kind of turn them sideways. And then you just kind of line it up. And just slide that up like so. And then just get the other side. And kind of hard to do from behind the camera here because I can't really see all that well. There we go. There it is. I need to slide that up. It is a bit snug there, but that's not really a bad thing. And there you go. And that gives his waist a very much needed bulking out, and I do quite like that. And here we have Predator King with all of his new bits, his new wings, his new hands, his new beefier waist. And let's talk about the sword. Uh, you can store the sword on him. Um, you just have these two bits that are sticking out the side, and this will just hang over his back like so. So you can store the sword if you want to. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But of course, he is a warrior. A mighty warrior, and he should be wielding his mighty sword. And just you can see, the sword is quite large. It comes up to his chest there. But we can just open up his hand here. You can see there is a big tab, a big slot there in the palm. And that just drops right in. And you wrap his fingers around it. Like so. And he holds it pretty securely, although the shoulders, even with those new ratchets in there, the shoulders really aren't strong enough to hold it up, though. It's not really, eh, still doesn't quite work. The, the sword is, is pretty heavy, and that just, yeah, he, he, he can't hold that up. There's just, there, there's, there's no holding that up, but hey, he can hold it like that, but there you go. The king has his sword at last. So there is the upgrade kit for Predaking. King. Um, it's a good kit, you know, it does everything it sets out to do. And it does it well without really uh, much effort. The only thing I really don't get is the replacement pieces for the shoulders. I don't know if those were intended to make the ratchets stiffer, but it doesn't really work because he still can't hold that sword up. So I, 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 I don't know about that. But everything else works as it should, and it's uh, definitely a nice improvement here for the King, so. There you go. So if you're like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the DNA Design Power of the Prime Spreader King Upgrade Kit. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face.